Hi there, Professor Brew here, and ready for step two. I'm going to continue adding value for this phase two and making corrections to my drawing as I go along. So one of the things that I noticed was uh, down here, uh, the ellipse on the face does thin out here, but I found a relationship between the two apexes. And this apex is more here and coming out. And then this apex is seems to be more down here. So it's more of a crisscross this way and a crisscross this way. And that's really because of the perspective. And how I figured that out was it's sitting on a box here. And I'm pulling this box in in the picture, the, the, the this line, this edge of the box is a tangent right here with this little corner. So I'm pulling it down here, going straight through. So this angle here, okay, I say sight measured that, is going to agree with this angle here. So you can see it's going back here, and then it comes here, here, and here. This side horizon line is here, so I'm coming here, here, here. There we go. Now how did I figure that out? Because I know that I can see the top of this glass so my horizon line is above it. And then I'm going to come down here, here, and then coming back up here, following this up to where the vanishing point is here, here, and here. So this side is like this. And this side has a bottom to it, which goes back. The point is that you're always making corrections and you're making judgments. I did not want to have a tangent here with this edge. So I pulled it down, which is making it a little bit closer to the bottom of the glass than it appears in the picture. So just keep that in mind when I show you the finished product. So now I'm coming up here and I'm beginning another shadow shape that almost looks like a little streak of lightning. I got this. You notice I start off with a lighter gray first. It's bending or refracting in some way. And then it gets skinny and comes down and meets up with this line. And I have a similar shape on the other side, but it is not the same. So now I have to wrestle with something else. I've got this here and this has a little shadow shape over here. So notice I'm going from top to bottom, left to right, right to left but I'm working the whole picture all the time. So I'm gonna come into here, this is a little skinnier. I got a shadow shape right here. Still using my 2B pencil. I have not changed from the, two, from the 2B to a heavier pencil yet. Coming right around in here, it gets thick here, thicker and darker, and then comes up here and gets lost back here. This side, comes in like this, and then down like this, and like this. This comes down here. It also goes in, comes down, and then it goes into this little point. And this little guy comes around here. And from here, this. Ah, okay. So that's helpful to me. Because it's going to help me to figure out how these cut glass shapes are drawn. And where the shadow shapes go. So this was a later addition to my drawing that I didn't see in the beginning. So you're always going to be seeing new things. And I need to clean my eraser. You're just going to clean your eraser every once in a while so that you can get a nice clean lift. 
So you see that I'm sort of uh, skipping between drawing positive spaces and then switching over to uh, subtractive drawing. This is really fun. I really like doing this a lot. And that's not to say that it's for everybody, but uh, I really enjoy the process. It's just, to me, it is fascinating. So that is on the uh, front of the glass. That is not on, the ins on, the, on this back side here. So a little more subtractive drawing. And that's a lot skinnier right there. Very subtle. And then it widens out, which is fine. And then it goes into this shape right here. And then this is darker in here. So now I've discovered something else, kids. And what I discovered is that I made this dark area right here a little too big. And then as this comes out here, this is, this is curving in. This is, and that is curving out. Oh, look at that. This just looks fantastic. I love this. Okay. So that's the other thing about subtractive drawing. As you take things away, you can get a much subtler look. So I want to lift this up here because it's not quite the color of the paper, but it is lighter. And then go back in and add that shadow shape. That's dark up here and light down here. And then I've got a little bit of light. Now, just don't get let yourself get into a tizzy about this. All you gotta remember is there are differences in the lights and the darks that are on top or coming to the front. This is the front, this is the back. You just have to think about it as like the box. You got a front, a back, a side, a top, and a bottom. So you notice I'm adding a little bit of value back into that. And I'm coming around here and I'm coming up here. And then I'm gonna take lifter and just, and then up here, this is light up here and sort of spreads down. This is a little closer to the edge than what I have it. And then there's a little bit of a shadow shape and the lip comes around and this is light here. And light here. So you see it gets narrow, wide, narrow. And those are the, those are the things that you see that are gonna really make the difference <clears throat> in how your drawing turns out is how accurate can you be? So this is the next challenge. You've, you've done all of these things already, okay? And now you're just doing it on glass instead of cardboard. Pretty much the same. Now some of you are gonna say, yeah, but it's different. <laughs> yes, it is, it is different. But the techniques are the same. The looking is the same. The putting in the details are the same. Pencils make a difference. I get comfortable with one pencil and I gotta remember that different softnesses of the lead make different marks. But I'm looking at how these shapes fit in together and I'm trying to draw them like little puzzle shapes. And I'm also trying not to drive myself crazy. So I am editing. So this is dark here. This comes down here like this. Then it goes like this, comes in like 
this and then goes down as it goes into that cut glass. I gotta get that on. And I do have some white around this. So I'm gonna pull this down here. There we go. Now I've got a little bit of a shadow here. And I got a little bit of a white line or shape right in here. And then here, where does that line up? This comes here, this is here. Okay, so it's just in front of it. I'm making a little shape here and I'm making this line that I built a little bit smaller. It's very, very subtle. And then it gets dark right here, disappears. Oh, that is super pretty. <clears throat> There's two little sparkles right there. So just to remind myself, I'm gonna subtract, subtract, and then just color around them. And they're real tiny, but they'll make a difference. It'll make a difference. Okay, and then I have some striations in between. So some of it is a little darker and some of it is a little lighter, but this lines up with this. You see that right there? So remembering where you have had your line weight, and that's the function of it. Now don't worry, I come back in here and just make that really small. There I go. Yep. It's seeing all those values. So you really should have your value scale in front of you so that you can compare. And I know that you're thinking, oh man, this is a lot. It is a lot, but you know what? You're not always going to have to do this because eventually you're going to know it and you're not at all that, all of that training that you're getting now is going to help you to see those things. And that's really pretty dark there. And it's really dark right here and here and here under that lip. Okay. So that's called edge control where you go in and you darken this a bit, it's really creating edge control. And also edge control is where the line is, gets hard and soft. So let me show you an idea of that. Right here, this little shadow, now my pencil's getting uh, unsharp. So I'm gonna grab my sharpener here and then, all right, so uh, you don't have to sharpen the whole pencil, you just, Sharpen the point. Don't quite like what's happening here. It's not a big dark line right here. So I'm gonna let that fade out. Okay, so right down in here, I've got a, a cast shadow from this edge is casting a shadow inside here. So we know from our lessons that cast shadows have, that's right, hard edges. Then I'm coming around here and this has a very specific shape and since it is a cast shadow it's going to have a hard edge. So you see I'm putting that hard edge right there. That's edge control. But edge control doesn't always mean hard edge. Now since this goes up this way and then flattens out that way, I'm going to have this this shadow shape that's almost dome shaped. Just gonna go just like that. And I do need to make this line here disappear. So I'm gonna go just a little bit darker, closer to the edge there, and then 
just let it fade out. Now, this edge is a hard edge. I'm gonna put a value on that lighter tone there. It's not white. And then I'm gonna pull some tone away from here where it gets light as it goes up. Got lots of little sparkles in here. I've got a sparkle down here. Okay. Right here on this edge where it's white, I need to make this line disappear where it hits the box. So this is what I'm talking about where you, the lighter side gets the darker value on the edge and you cre create that value and make that line disappear. Again, I don't wanna go black. And then this right in here is a little darker Still not black. And then right on top here, there's a highlight. And this has a soft edge. So I'm just softening that and then blending out. And then right here, I need to pull up Soften this edge. There we go. And blend out. Now, did I mess that up? Yes, I did. <laughs> I messed up the ellipse. The ellipse is higher right here. I just go ahead and give myself that. This edge is soft. This edge is hard. That's edge control. I need to remember that th this ellipse and this ellipse are across from each other. This ellipse and this ellipse are, ellipse are across from each other. This gets really, really thin back here. And gradually gets thicker here. Okay, that looks a little better. And this gets a little darker in here for that terminator shadow, that core dark, core dark shadow, form shadow, I should say, core dark form shadow. Yeah. So I'm just lifting this and giving it, making it a little softer. And Lifting that, making it a little softer, going back in with that value. Coming down here and letting all these shadow shapes show the volume here. Notice how I break that up. It's heavy here or dark here and then lighter and then light and then darker here. And then it goes out into a cast shadow. So that cast shadow has a hard edge there. And then this light edge goes around and it gets thicker as it comes here. And then everything gets a little bit lighter right in here. Now I'm ready to step up in here a little bit. I really want to be specific about that shadow shape because that is what is going to show me 
that this has a texture. see what's happening this is coming up in here it's going around and this is fanning out here and fanning out there this is a soft edge and this is a hard edge and all of those edges are indicating to me and to, you, and to my viewer, the shape and form of this glass. Now, I've got, it's leading me up here. I've got a shadow shape here and a shadow shape here. And one is bigger and longer and comes down this way and meets right up with this shape. Then this is a little bit lighter, comes in, comes out this way, like this, comes out, goes in here, comes down and then comes out. Okay, so everything is either a shadow or uh, something that is indicating all the little cut shapes that are on this glass because they reflect all around. And your job is to record it. I, I don't like to use the word record. Your job is to edit it and to put it in. this, this goes up here, this comes down here and goes around and this comes around here too. Okay. Cool. All right. There's not a lot of contrast here. I mean, I actually meant to say exactly the opposite. There is a lot of contrast here. There's, it's, there's not a lot of changing values. Now there is a little band down here that's got some interesting stuff going on. It almost, so if you think of something like, it's almost like the striations in, uh, uh, sedimentary rock, where you've got these little bands here that are light gray. And then you've got a little band here that is dark. This is white and that is gray. This is coming in here and then it's going, it's going down and then back. That little shadow shape right there, tiny, tiny shadow shape. Yeah, okay. I got this. This is coming in and going down. This is coming around like this and around like this. There's really not much to, you know, to think about. You're either going to put it in in the direction that it's going or you're not. It's basic. It's basic story. Right there. This is coming up a little bit further. Coming down like this. 